Hello, children, and welcome back to another English class. In this very, very short week,、uh, we're going to work with again skills. Okay, we're going to focus on reading comprehension skills, and for that, for the class of the English class of this week, you will need your guided book, of course, as usual, and we're going to work. I am going to say it already. We're going to work with this. That is related to curriculum extra. Okay, we're going to talk about music. Okay, we're going to try to focus, or we're going to try to link English with another school subject. Okay, that in this opportunity is the school subject music. What we're going to talk about today, or what we're going to read today, we're going to To try to read the Suzuki method, I don't know if you know it, but if you don't know it, let's pay attention because I am going to read the text now. Okay, so here you have it, the Suzuki method. Pay attention to the photograph. You have a lot of kids and they are playing some some instruments. And、uh, let's begin. I am going to start reading. I am going to start here in letter A. Says. We sometimes see video clips of young children playing instruments. The children are so small with their, that their violins, pianos, and other instruments appear enormous next to them. But they play like expert musicians. Their little fingers move rapidly, and their bodies move in move in time to the music. But how we can these very young children play so well? They are learning with the Suzuki method. Letter B. The Suzuki method of learning musical instruments comes from Japan, and was the idea of a man called Shinichi Suzuki. Here you have the date of birth and the date of、uh, death. Okay, so a violin teacher from Nagoya. His belief was that all children can play musical instruments well. He also believed that children can learn to play a musical instrument in the same way that they learn to speak a language. That is very important. Letter C. As babies, we learned a new word when we he- when we heard it hundreds of times. With the Suzuki method, the children learned a new piece of music through listening. Constant repetition repetition sorry of the music helps them learn. Letter D. We learn to talk. We learn to talk first, then to read. In the same way, the Suzuki method teaches children to play their instrument, and then to read music. Letter E. We learned from our parents and teachers, and from other children, too, of course. For this reason, children have individual music lesson, but also learn in groups with other children. In groups. Children can motivate and encourage each other. Letter F. Shinichi Suzuki also believed it is better when children learn their instrument for a very young age. Therefore, with the Suzuki method, there are a lot of music students as young as three or four. Letter G. Some people don't like the Suzuki method. They think it creates robots. Not musicians, because the children are only repeating what they heard. Others believe it can only work with ambitious parents who make their children work very hard. And finally, letter G. There are different opinions, but it is difficult not to admire these children. For this reason, the Suzuki method is now popular all over the world. Okay, kids. I hope that you understand the text. Because we're going to work with with the reading comprehension, we are going to focus here on the words. Okay, we're going to find it. For example, we're going to start with the words enormous. Okay, and I think that the word enormous is from over here. Okay, here I am going to underline with pink. So here you have enormous. Okay, maybe you can underline it too in your book, or you can write it in your notebook. So what the word enormous is mean? It it means、uh, you have a synonym that could be big, but this is like more big. It's like a 
huge. So, enormous in Spanish will be like enorme, immenso, okay? Then we have the word encourage. As you can see here, here you have the line, that is line 36. So, here you have encourage, okay? You have the word encourage. And this word in Spanish, it means incentivar. Los niños pueden motivar e incentivarse entre ellos, okay? So, enormous, enorme encourage incentivar okay now that you already have the words and you already learn it and you know the meaning now let's go with the curriculum extra exercise let's start with number one it says read the article and where is the suzuki method from okay i need the answer is the place okay maybe it could be a country i am giving some clues Number two says, read the article again and write the letter of the paragraph. What you're going to do here says, which paragraph mentioned the student's age? So for that, you're going to work with the, the, the reading part, of course, and, and you're going to find where is the information. In this opportunity, the student age, it's on paragraph F, okay? It's here, three or four. For that reason, you put this letter, F, okay? Then we're going to do exercise number three related to complete the sentences. Let's see the example. It says, Chinitsu Suzuki was, who was the person? Was a violent teacher. You can find the informa all the information in the text. Exercise number four says, which pictures give false information? Correct the information, of course, okay? So, for example, here you have letter A, you have here a guitar, a piano, and a violin. So, you put letter A and you put, it is false and you put a reason, okay? You correct the information, okay? So, I think that's for today. The, the classes of this week are going to be, I think, in some in some grades are going to be two, but in, most of them are going to be only one class. So it's a very, very short week. Uh, I hope that you understand the, the instructions and the, the exercise. If you don't understand it, try to write. You, you have the emails of the teacher, so you can write and you can, and you can, we can to give you the answers for all your doubts and questions, okay? So, uh, have a great day, take care, rest during the weekend, and see you next class. Bye-bye, kids.